Yep, we are going to make your videos much better. In this video, I'm going to be giving you five tips to not just make your videos much better, but it will also allow you to focus on the tasks that actually makes your videos much better and eliminate all the boring and monotonous tasks that actually makes video editing sometimes very boring and frustrating. And trust me, even if you are a seasoned editor, you will hear things or two here that you probably didn't know or just didn't do. So. Let's just get it started. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. So let's start with the number one, which is extremely generic, but criminally underutilized or completely misused, which is having an editing workflow. This is basically a list of things that you need to have for every single video that you will be doing from the beginning to the export. This will make your video editing much faster because you will not need to think about what to do next. And to make it easier for you to understand how it works, I'm gonna give you my own video editing workflow. Step one, collect the footage. That means collect everything that I've recorded and put them in one place, one folder or one drive which is easily accessible for any video editing software. Step two, transcode the footage. It's extremely important step that we're gonna talk about this in a minute. Step three, put the footage in your video editor. Self-explanatory, just drop the footage into an editor. That's basically it. Next is cut the footage. Basically to get rid of all things that you don't need. This can be a silent parts or mistakes or things like that. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that extremely fast in a minute as well. Next is add B-roll. Basically take all the additional footage that you recorded and put it on the top of your main footage. Like main footage is like this one and B-roll is all the clips that you see on this footage. Next is add graphics and other graphical elements. We're doing this right now because all the main footage is already cut and edited and now we can add some more resource intensive tasks like graphics. This can be your titles, your intros, your outros, your end screens, your calls to action and things like that and all the texts and things like that as well. Next is edit your audio. This is your adding your music, adding your sound effects, leveling your volume, correcting your audio and things like that. We're doing this now because basically all the video part is practically done. Next is color grade slash color correct. Practically self-explanatory. You're gonna fix the colors of your video. You're doing this right now because all again, all the footage is already done and color graded footage usually is pretty difficult to run on video editing software. So you are gonna do this closer to the end. And the next step, which is extremely important, is to wait. Yes, you heard this right. Will it be an hour or day or two? Just let your edited footage to rest for some time because you need to clean your head just to understand what you might be missing or maybe what you might be overusing as well. Next step is check again. You're gonna go through all of your edited footage again and see what you need to fix. And last but not least is export. Basically everything is ready and now video is ready too. Now let's move to the important tip number two. Transcoding your footage with Handbrake. Transcoding your footage basically transforming your videos into different file formats. It can make your videos smaller which is easier to store, but can be a bit difficult to run on video editing software because video editing software need to decompress all this footage, or it can make your footage larger, which makes it difficult to store, but easy to edit because your video editing software doesn't need to decompress it anymore. I highly suggest you to use software called Handbrake and transcode your footage, as I said in a previous step, before you're gonna put them in your video editing software. Handbrake is absolutely free software, it literally is free and open source software, available both on Windows and Mac, and you can use it extremely simply. I myself use it for every single video, it makes it extremely easy to edit afterwards. I just put my footage, input all the settings that I want at the end, and just press export, and I just wait a bit, and the video is done. Tip number three, use auto cutting software and for that i use software called timebolt and timebolt literally saves me hours of time while editing when you record the videos and as an example when i record my videos this can be youtube videos or course videos i have a lot of dead air in it to explain what dead air means dead air is basically silent parts in your video where you think where you read or where you do basically nothing and you need to cut all of those parts manually while editing well, with Timebolt, not anymore. Timebolt is basically standalone software where you put your transcoded footage, it finds all dead air and just selects all the dead air for you or cuts it completely for you. And at the end, you can export an XML file or just completely cut clips and just put it in your video editing software. What I do in my case, I export XML file, basically preserving everything that was cut out from the video 
and just put it in a video editing software and all i need is just go through entire footages and just cut out mistakes which is extremely fast and extremely simple when all the dead air is already gone i'll be linking time bolt in the description down below by the way I'm not sponsored by Timebolt. I just love the software. It is a paid software. It has a free tier as well that you can try, but it has a paid software as well. And I actually contacted the developer and they actually gave me a special discount code, which you can read it on a screen right now. It gives you 20% off from every plan. I simply cannot stress this enough. If you are editing a lot of footage, this will save you an hours and hours of times. It's extremely great. And I'm simply amazed why I was not using this software before. Try it yourself and you're gonna thank me later. Tip number four is to use shortcuts. Guys and girls, I simply cannot stress this enough. Always use shortcuts while using editing. And for the ones who didn't understand what they mean by that, it's a, I'm talking about keyboard shortcuts. Basically, as an example, in my case, as I use DaVinci Resolve, if I want to make a cut, usually if I don't use a keyboard shortcut, I need to move mouse, select a tool, select the cut point, and then deselect the tool to move to regular move tool. It takes a lot of time and mouse movements and mouse movements are very, very inefficient while editing. While keyboard shortcuts can increase the speed of those mundane tasks by a lot and every single video editing software has their own sets of keyboard shortcuts and i highly highly recommend you to learn them and to be fair when i learned keyboard shortcuts my editing speed actually doubled and again to be fair if you are an old subscriber and remember when i was editing my all of my videos actually on my ipad to be fair the reason why i'm not editing on my ipad anymore is because i cannot use the keyboard shortcuts and when you learn keyboard shortcuts you can focus on the thing that is important, which is the story and video itself. And last but not least is number five, which is the biggest thing that saved my time by a lot. And it is kind of like a step up from the keyboard shortcuts and it's using macros. And I use macros to basically eliminate all the repetitive tasks in my video editing. And for that, I use a software on my Mac which is called Keyboard Maestro and on Windows, you can use the software called Auto Hotkey. And what macros allow you is basically to do a multiple tasks or sequence of tasks with a single click of a button or just single combination of a button. As an example, when you wanna cut a clip in your video, these are the action that it takes. So first you need to select the beginning of the cut. Then you need to make a cut. Then you need to select the end of the cut. Then you need to make the cut. Then you need to actually select the clip that you want to cut away. And then you need to delete it, which usually takes two keystrokes. Like in my case, it's shift delete. This takes a lot of time, even with using keyboard shortcuts. Now with the macro that I've built, that's the thing that I need to do. Cut the beginning of the clip, move to the end, make a cut and delete everything with one command. Or basically all the actions that I've told you before down to only two actions. And when you have longer videos, it saves a lot of time because it all adds up. Because trust me, even selecting six commands versus two commands, because you decrease the editing effort three times, which is huge. And now I'm gonna show you even more complicated macro that I've built utilizing the mouse as well. Look how Keyboard Maestro allows me to do audio leveling and effects with one single command. Everything you see right now is done automatically without me touching anything. How cool is that? Or look how fast I can apply the color grade to an entire clip. It's insane how fast you can do things with macros. It takes some time to learn them, but when you do, boy oh boy, the possibilities are practically endless with the things that you can do with the macros. And not just in the video editing, it's basically in everything. So that was it. There was five tips that I actually use myself to become a better or rather faster video editor and focus more on the quality rather than on just doing the things that are simply boring. Utilize these tips and tricks and you're gonna become much faster editor. And for all the software that I talked about, you can find the links in the description down below. Oh yeah, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to this video. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Take care.